The Children We Remember by Hannah Byers Abels. Before I begin reading, I do have to let you know that a lot of the pictures that were taken in this book, um, people risked their lives. They did it with cameras that they made themselves. Um, and they risked their lives to record what the Nazis had done. And so the rest of the world would know. The Children We Remember by Hannah Abels Byers. This book is dedicated to the children whose lives ended during the Holocaust and to the photographers, known and unknown, who risked their lives to record their story before the Nazis. Some children lived in towns like this. They went to schools like this they prayed in synagogues like this. They played with their friends. Or they sat alone. Then the Nazis came. <clears throat> they made the Jews sew patches on their clothes. They closed Jewish stores and schools. They burned synagogues. They took away homes. And families were forced to live in the streets. These are real pictures. There's a mother and her four children. When the children were cold, they wrapped themselves in rags. These pictures remind me of the boys from Milkweed, Olek, and Kuba, and Enos, and Ferdi. When the children were hungry, they shared the little food they had. The children helped the old, the sick, and each other. The Nazis hated the children because they were Jews. Sometimes they took them away from their families and sent them far from home. Sometimes they put children to death. These children were killed by the Nazis. Kana and her brother. Willie and children whose names we do not know. <clears throat> but some children survived.
Some escaped to Israel and other countries, and some were rescued by Christian families. Others hid in forests or pretended to be non-Jews. The children who survived are grown now. Some have children of their own. They live in towns like yours. They go to schools like yours and they play with their friends or they sit alone. Just like the children we remember. The end. Every photograph that you've seen in this book is real. Whether they survived or they died, the photographs are real. And this is further testimony to what happened between 1939 and 1945 to more than 6 million Jews and 11 million victims altogether when you count in the gypsies and the Poles and other people that were systematically murdered for who they were or what they believed.